Sage Creek, this is your monthly real estate market report for March 2023. And we're going to go over the single detached homes that are on MLS that sold and uh, as well as how many are active, what the months of inventory is, the average sale price, days on market. And I'm Stephen Olona, Remax Performance Realty. So as you can see from our chart on the screen, we will be doing this month by month. And as you go through the year, it'll give you more data and it'll show you exactly what the real estate market looks like in Sage Creek throughout the year. Now, if you were a buyer or a seller, we wouldn't be just showing you one month at a time we'd be doing a uh, six to nine month spread and that gives you an accurate more accurate description of you know what how the average sale price is how long they're taking to sell and uh and whether you're in a buyer's market or a seller's market or a balanced market because you're going to see a little bit of everything as we look at these couple of uh, months that are on the screen or the few months that are on the screen right now we're also going to take a look at march sales for the previous um five years. And um, I just thought it'd be fun to do month by month. Again, one month doesn't give you an accurate description, but you get into that six month area. That is more of what a market will look like. So if you have any real estate related questions, reach out to us. Let's have a conversation. We want to help make you inform buyers and sellers and educate you. And when we educate you, you know what's going to happen next in the process. And it becomes a lot less stressful because selling your home is one of the most stressful things you can go through. Um, if you like our content, give us some love. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you really love us, give us a Google review. They help us help so many people. So let's take a peek at what the numbers look like here. There were eight sales in March versus four in February and seven in January. Uh, listings have gone up and you see that in the springtime, uh, more homes come to the market. So 30 homes on the market versus 24 and 18. Now you're showing 3.75 months of inventory. That's still a seller's market. We're on the upper end of it because at zero to four months is a seller's market. Your Four to six months is a balanced market and beyond six months is a buyer's market. So you were right on the edge here of a balanced market, almost a buyer's market here. And in January, we were right in the cusp of a, um, a, a good seller's market. So like I said, these are things that as you average out, you take the average of these and you'd probably be right at a balanced market right now. Um, I'm predicting that that what I've been watching is we are going to go back into a little bit better seller's market. Um, let's look at average sale prices of the seven homes that sold. The average seller price was 627. Then of the four homes, 664 and then 607 and March. And uh, again, as you would take the balance of these uh, three months and as you go into a longer period of time the more data you have the closer you are on what your average sale price is 25 days on the market was january 15 in february and 14 in march and you see the number of days on market going down that means your market's heating up a little bit and you will start to see prices climb a little bit too as well now let's take a look at what the previous uh, five years look like now as we take a look here um this is kind of what we're seeing. Your 2021 numbers and your 2023 numbers are pretty close. Big jump in 2022. And we will see this big number um, throughout the year. May is when Winnipeg topped out with the top selling prices and started pulling back there. Um, again, we got it now getting into this year. We're starting to see things pull up a little bit in 2023 as well. This is kind of the typical Winnipeg market here and what we see in most neighborhoods. This is off a little bit right here. Mostly the graph is doing this, goes up, and then it goes down. And usually 2019 is a little bit lower, but not always. But uh, close in numbers, as you can see, and that's Winnipeg market. It goes up, goes up, goes up a little bit. And in about every 10 years, we see a pretty good jump. And uh, then usually the following year, we see a bit of a pullback. And within that pull, after that pullback, we're usually 18 to 24 months. And we're usually above and beyond what that uh, what that original topped out price was. So that's the real estate market when you look at the previous 50 years worth of data. So I, I always say to people that, you know, Winnipeg real estate's a long-term game. You're going to have your jumps. It's going to pull back a little bit, but then it's going to slowly climb up and surpass it again. Real estate's one of the only ways you can hedge inflation. So if you have any real estate related questions, reach out to us. Let's have a conversation. We'd love to chat with you. We love talking real estate. We'd love to list your home. We'd love to help you as a buyer and, uh, and put a smile on your face. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day.